Question number 38 uh, from uh, 2016 past paper. Right, so I repeat this. Uh, question number 38 from 2016, 2016 past paper, MCQ. This is not part two, MCQ, part one paper. Right, hope everyone is clear on that. Okay, uh, let me show you the paper, uh, 2016. Okay, this is the 30, 38, question number 38. Right, if you have any questions, Please ask me, don't hesitate. Uh, okay, so we are here. All right, read the question, uh, maybe. Okay, question 38 and 39 are based on the following flow chart designed to find the smallest number. Okay, you know, we learn uh, the, the flow chart. Uh, we, 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 we draw, we learn the flow chart on how to find the largest number, the maximum number. Right, within a given number set. But here they have asked an opposite side, but it's easy, very easy. But you have to find out which one, but you know, without that also you can answer here. Okay, uh, now by looking at the flow chart, you have to answer the 38. So go through and answer 38. Read the question now. Maybe I can give you the flow chart like this. Right, okay, now you can answer 38. 2016, right? Which of the following correctly represents the label P and Q in the flow chart? So they have given the easy part for P and Q. P and Q. So you can see, uh, you can see P is here, right? And Q is here. <clears throat> Send your answers. Send your answers. I don't know, even, even if you don't remember what you learned in the last class, I don't know whether you can do this question, but I'm not going to explain it in detail. Yes, uh, Raisa correct, Rida correct, Raisa correct, Rida correct, Zaharin correct, good. Yes, any other answers? Very easy. Very easy. Uzma, correct. Uh, Mayada, correct. Good. How about others? Hani, correct. Okay, excellent. Even if you go through the last class notes, you could, you could easily find out the answer, right? Najat, correct. Sara, correct. So here, as I said, uh, this is a textbook question. So we say these are textbook because examples are already given in the textbook. So these are textbook question. So you, we should we should learn very clearly the examples in the textbook. 
right? So you can't say, sir, it's difficult. Maybe I don't understand, but you have to learn, right? So you have to learn because they have already taught, they have already given all the details. It's not a new question. This is not a, this is not a new one. So you can easily, uh, you can easily, uh, if you have learned very well, you can easily answer the question. So this is not a, not a new question, right? <clears throat> Lakshini correct. Okay, very good. Zohra correct. Right. Even if you go through the last class notes, right, uh, you can find the answer. Right. Now, if you go through this, right, remember we said uh, to find out the minimum or maximum. Right. You read the number first place. You read the number. You assign the minimum to that number first place. Then you need the counter. So why do you need this counter? Who can tell me? Why do we need this counter here? What is the purpose of assigning the counter to one? Yes, sir. we are we are working on question number uh, 2016 past paper. If you are still, if you don't have a past paper book, you should buy one MCQ question number 38. Okay. So why do we need this counter? Yes, anyone? Anyone? You can talk. If you can talk better. Because we have only 10 numbers. Yes, very good. So we have to we have to control. We have to loop 10 times, right? We have to repeat 10 times in order to control that. In order to control that repetition, you need this counter. You need this counter and you start with the counter one. Okay, if you don't say count equal one, no, if you don't initialize this, what will happen? If you if you don't say count equal one, what will happen? Okay, because if you don't say count equal one, there won't be a variable called count created. So you you can't you can't execute this statement because there is no count variable. No, it won't continue the same number because you have to tell the computer to create a, a you know a space for the count. So by assigning by initializing the value to one, you are right. You are uh, you are getting a space in the queue. Like if let's say it's like you are going uh, into this uh, fuel queues, right? So you go and maybe like uh, so you get a space initially. After that only you can get the. Fuel. So like that, so you are you are assigning, okay, you are telling the computer, okay, I need the space for my variable count. So you say count equal one. So when you learn programming languages later, uh, maybe after this session, we, we are going to learn the Pascal. So uh, we will see there are specific ways of, uh, you know, a specific way, oh, we, we have a special, special method of assigning uh, or telling the computer to create the variable. That's different from programming language to language. But, uh, you know, uh, here we don't worry about that because, as I said, the flow charts are flow charts. Remember this. Remember these words. Flow charts or pseudo codes are independent from what? Independent from the programming language, right? This, these are independent pro from the programming languages. It's, these flow charts are not depends on the programming language. So these are independent from the programming language. Okay. So now if you look at this one, so we know we have 10 numbers. We have to repeat 10 times that done. Okay. Then again, we set the second number. Remember, how do we do the comparison? If we have uh, like, okay, if we have uh, for 10 numbers like this, let's take few numbers, uh, three, seven. Okay. How do we do this? What is the, what is the algorithm? What is the algorithm? Who can who can talk? Who can explain this? What is the algorithm? Just just explain. I mean, I don't need to explain the flow chart. Just tell me how do how do how 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 would you do this? So if you want to find out this minimum number between, let's say, we have like uh, five numbers, you can talk right rather than writing everything. It will continue the same. Uh, Compare and less than no. I won't. I mean, no proper way of you know explaining this. How do you how do you uh, compare it? Yes, uh, Zuhra, can you explain this? Uh, first, we have 
to compare the first two numbers, 5 and 10, and then get the minimum number and compare that number with the next number? Very good. So, yeah, you take first two number and compare it and find out the minimum. Then assign the minimum to the minimum variable. You have to create a variable called minimum. So you create the uh, variable, assign that to minimum. Then you take this minimum and compare. Sorry, sorry, you have to repeat it other way. No? Uh, so first you have to assign the first number to Zuhra. You have to assign the first number to the minimum. No? First number should be minimum. That is my first minimum, five. Now you compare the minimum with the second number, my minimum. Uh, you compare with the second number. Okay. Uh, you compare the minimum with the second number, 10. So now five less than 10. Still, the 10 is the minimum. Okay, then that's fine. So you don't need to worry. So you go to the third number. Now my minimum less than three. See, minimum less than three. My minimum is five now. Five less than three. So which one is the least one? The smallest one? Three. So I have to change the minimum value to three. Like that, you have to continue. Like that, you have to continue this, right? Okay, that is the idea. Right now, here only difference with the minimum is what? What is the different? Only different with the minimum and maximum flowcharts. Who can tell me? Yes, sir. Uh, let me ask someone else now. Uzma, can you tell me what is the difference? What is the main difference between a minimum and the maximum uh, flowcharts? I'm asking these two. If you compare with the maximum flowchart which we have uh, discussed in the last class. And the flow chart given here, what is the difference you see? Oh, not only one, maybe one or two, I can't, yeah, maybe let's say, oh, okay, you can tell uh, one difference at least. Uzma, can you tell me one difference between this uh, flow chart, which uh, we, we used to find out the minimum number and the other one, which we used to find out the maximum number? Yes, Mayada, can you tell me the which what is the difference if you compare both? Or what are the differences? What are the difference? Or what is the difference? Okay, very good. So one different. One different is uh, which one? Okay, which one you are saying greater and uh, because greater and lesser signs. Okay, that means which one? You have two. Ah, very good. Uh, Rida, right. So this is the difference. This is one place. Okay, so you have to, if it is maximum, you have to say in greater than max. No, right. What is the other one? What is the other one? What is the other different, right? What is the other different? Yes, Rida, correct. Okay, what is the other different? What is the other one? Second one is this point. So we assign a variable, we create a variable called min and we assign, but the same thing. We just change the name, right? Just change the name, right? But it won't affect really, but we you just use a different name, okay? Now we'll come to the answer, right? We'll come to the point. Which of the following correctly represent the label P and Q? Label P and Q, okay. Here in the P part, after you executed everything, what you have to do? You have to say, Display or output, both are correct. You have to say output or uh, display output. Okay, what do you have to output? What do you have to display? What is the variable you have to display? Is it n or the min or count? Which one you have to display? So what is the purpose? You have to find out the minimum variable. Okay, finally, when you execute it, where do you find the minimum? Where do you find the minimum store? Where do you find the minimum stored? Yes, Najat, correct. Okay, where do you find the minimum variable stored? Arakam, can you tell me, where do you find this minimum variable stored, finally? What is that variable? Very simple, right? P, no. P, what is that P? Uh, the P is just a label, Arkham. It's a, just a blank. So they have given the blank. So you have to tell me what, what should come inside this P. 
Okay, so you have to take because it's like a label, right? PQ. So they are they are putting labels for the question. So you have to tell what what should be here, what should come for the P. So I'm asking if you look at this program, the flow chart, right? So we are we are uh, getting this minimum value. Now finally, right? The the least value, the minimum value should store somewhere. No. So what is that variable? What is the variable you find the minimum value? So what do you say, Fadila? You have to output the n. Okay. Okay. Now if I come to this one, what, what is n? What is n? Yes, Rida, can you tell me what is in here? Yes, yes. What is in? Ah, the number in is the, the input number. Maybe you missed last class and maybe you didn't watch the recording. So in is the number you are you are recording, you are you are reading, right? So as I we said, there are numbers like you have to uh, compare, like right? there are a uh, couple of numbers. So you, that's your n. You are reading the first number, second number, third number. These are the n's, uh, Fadila. These are the n's. Okay. Now, now we we save the minimum, right? If you are like, if you are not in touch, or if you don't watch the recording, if you don't come to the class, please watch the recording. Okay. Uh, otherwise, it's a little little difficult. Okay. Now here, now we store the minimum value, a variable called minimum here, right? So finally, we want to display the minimum. Oh, you have to output the minimum. So that should come here. That should come in this uh, place, right? So because our aim is to display the minimum. Okay, now that is P. So what should be the Q then? Q, what is Q? So we learned this last class. Okay, now after you compare it, right? So now what happened? Okay, n less than minimum. If it is minimum, what you have to do? We have to assign the new minimum, right? We have to change the minimum value to the n because we compare the current value, right? We compare this current value. Like right? you read a number and compare with the minimum. Now let's say I'm reading number uh, five and I have a uh, 10 in my minimum. But now if you compare five less than 10, which one is lesser one fine no the n is the smallest one so what you have to do is you have to change the value inside the minimum box so how do you change it you have to assign it like this minimum equal n or that is uh, if it is five you say five or ten you have to say five ten but here we say n because these are n is our uh, input uh, value so you have to say then what happened okay it's like this if it is a box like this Right. So initially you have a value like 10. Okay, this is your minimum box, right? Let's say assume you have a box like minimum. Now you have a 10 number 10 uh, the, the inside that box. Now you, you take another number from here. So let's say you have numbers outside like this, 3, 4, uh, 12. Now you take the number 3 again and you compare with the number inside the box. So if you 3 less than 10. So this is true now. So now which one is truly, which one? If you compare three and 10, the least one, the minimum one should be what? 10 or three? The three, yes, very good. The minimum one should be three. So what, have, what you have to do is, you have to override this. You have to delete, you don't say delete it, we have to override it. So basically you have to override and put the three inside this. So how do you do that? Simply, simply what you can do is you have can say, minimum equal minimum equal the new number minimum equal you can simply say minimum equal new value that is three right or minimum equal because we generally say n no so you can say n right that's why we we we, we write here minimum equal n so if there is a minimum the least value you can change is that clear? If you don't understand, please ask. If you still have a problem, you can ask me. As I said, this is a, uh, this is a, uh, what? This is a, a book, textbook question, okay? Right, then what should be the answer? Uh, so first one, P should be output minimum. And okay, then you can find the answer here, see? 
So they say P should be this and okay, because second answer is wrong because you don't put display the in. Third answer wrong because you don't display the count. Fourth answer is okay, but again, the second part is wrong because we don't say count we don't, because we don't put the count, count minus equal one. We don't, we don't, because already that is there here. No? Okay, so the so first answer is the correct one. Any questions? If you ask questions, I can answer because now, because I have to assume, right? So you, you, you understood this, right? Let's go to the second part. Second part. Okay, what is the answer for 39? Question number 39. Read the question and answer question number 39. Najat. Yes, correct. Raisa, correct. Mayada, correct. Which of the following statement is correct related to the control structures given in the flowchart? Okay, Zaharin correct, Sara correct, okay. Yes, Uzma, what is the answer? Still, you guys are sleepy, right? Right, correct, okay. Rida, correct. Zaharin, correct, okay. Fadila, no. Fadila, you have to think a little bit and answer. Rinas, correct. Okay, very good. Arkham, no. Which of the following statement is correct related to the control structures given in the flowchart? Okay, can you guys tell me what are the control structures given here? What are the control structures given here? Yes, who can tell me? Selection and repetition. Sorry, can you repeat that please? Is, can you repeat that, please? Selection and repetition. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Selection and repetition, okay. Selection structure and repetition. Okay, my goodness. Selection. Right, selection and repetition, okay. Selection and repetition, right? So we know uh, this is a selection structure, right? This is a condition or selection structure. Selection. Okay, where is the repetition one? Where is the repetition one? So here you can see the repetition because it comes here and it's repeat. See, it's loop, right? So this is the repetition. Everything, right? The box is repetition. So this is repetition. Now, what is the question? Which of the following statement is correct related to the control structures? Okay, selection occurs within the repetition. Is that correct? Selection occurs within the repetition. Yes, because if you go to this one, we have the selection statement. This is the selection statement that comes inside this repetition. So this is the repetition. This is the repetition and this is the selection. So selection occurs inside the repetition. That is correct. Repetition occurs within the selection. Repetition, no. Is repetition comes inside this selection? No, that is wrong. Repetition occurs within the repetition. Is there is a repetition inside the repetition? No, because you know why? Uh, this is this is this part is not a repetition, right? So it's a it's a condition. So you have to be clear. Last one, selection occurs within selection. Although this diamond we use for the selection, but you know, we use the same diamond for the repetition. So what is the difference? If you are using, if you are having a repetition structure, you know, you should, uh, you should be able to identify you uh, with a repetition structure. You have this arrow coming back to the starting point, right? See, so 
you have this so all this part right but which one the highlighted part is the repetition this is my repetition but the condition is only this part so this is the condition part so this part is the condition this is the condition or selection this is the selection but the, the, the highlighted part is the repetition is that clear okay so the first answer first answer is the correct one right so let's let's go to the next one next question said 2020 uh, mcq 39 okay 2020 mcq 39 ah, okay now you have some work right what you have to do is what would be the output right try to do this maybe you can you can draw a small uh, tracing table and find out the answer what would be the output of the given flow chart if phi is given as the input for now okay read the question carefully what would be the what would be the output of the given flow chart if phi is given as the input for num so here if you enter 5 if you read 5 right what would be the output what would be the output what, yeah the output is this one the print statement print statement is the output right you can say output display or print so they are asking what you what would be the output here right okay find out the answer this is 2020 question number 39 so you you should create a, a tracing table Okay. Zaharin, mm, no Zaharin, you have to try again. But good try, but you have to try it again. So create a, a simple, I mean, a tracing table. So, you know, so initially you are reading the number in, right, number. Uh, then you have the count value. Count value. Then answer. right uh, that's all yeah that's all then finally you have to display it you have to uh, display or let's say print this time we have used that okay so initially you are reading the number five now can you continue this count is one answer equal one okay we don't print anything now you can you can you should be able to go through this flow uh, tracing table right very good correct and raise are correct i don't know whether you are uh, maybe right you already did i know but uh, better if you do it again right because uh, if you have done the tracing table what's up me the tracing table <clears throat> Thank you. 
Prida correct. Praisa correct. I said right. Okay. <clears throat> Yes, Hani, Najat, Reema. <clears throat> I didn't see answers. Reema, Sara, Uzma. I also I didn't see. Then yes, Zohra. What is the answer? So in this case, <clears throat> Hani, uh, you are wrong. In this case, you are checking the condition at the bottom, right? That's that won't be a problem. So you just, uh, you know, first uh, <clears throat> you you find the answer and you check the condition. That won't be a problem. You can answer. Zohra also wrong. <clears throat> Right, Mayada, correct. Arakam wrong, Zohra wrong, uh, and you should also include, let me include this condition because I forgot to include because you have a condition here. So we condition count. <clears throat> this is kind of your know, rough work, right? This is kind of a rough work, right? <clears throat> Okay, shall we shall we check this? Okay. okay, look at this one. Maybe you can so maybe you can try it later. Okay, let's do this one again. It's okay, right? Then you will learn by doing these questions, right? Okay, initially, you know, uh, can can you all uh, pay attention here, please? Yes, uh, Uzma, what is the answer? Rima, what is the answer? Uzma answer is correct. So Rima, Sara, have you done this? <clears throat> Samiha. Okay. If not, okay, you can you can stop your work and you look at this one. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it, right? Okay, initially, we assign the values, as I said. Initially, it's five, right? Then the count, initializing uh, count equal one, answer equal one. That's done Right. Now what happens, programs comes to this program, come to this part, and it says, right, now we are here, right, we are here. So we are here. Now program says answer equal, we are here, answer equal, answer into count. So what is the value of answer? <clears throat> answer equal, answer into count. So my answer equal one answer into count count equal one so what is the value of new answer one into one what is the value that is one right one into one that is one yes Naja. yes that's correct so here you you will end up in so it's, it's this is one because answer into on count right so I, yeah one right that's clear now now we'll come to this program we'll come to this condition box if count less than num, okay, tell me the, about this condition. My count equal one, less than num, five. Is this true or false? <clears throat> one less than five, true or false? Yes or no? Yes or no? Tell me, quick. Yes, Rima, is it yes or no? <clears throat> yes, yes, so yeah, very good. So it's yes, right? Yes, so we say yes. So it program, what happens? It goes to the yes side now. And it increment the count. Count equal count plus one. So, okay, my count, right? So if you come to this one, count equal count plus one. So what is the value of count now? What is the value of count now? 
what is the value of count now we can talk that should be c what is the value of count no no before when you come to this place rida when you come to this place right so when you come to this place now what is the value of count here it's 1 plus you add 1 to this so it's 1 so you add 1 to this so yeah new value is 2 new value is 2 right that's correct so my count equal right 1 plus 1 1 plus 1 that is equal to 2 right is that clear now what happens now what happens <clears throat> now we are done with this one so now program comes to right it it comes to this place again this and again execute this statement next statement which is answer equal answer into count <clears throat> what is the value of answer now <clears throat> the first value before this uh, calculation what is the value of answer answer is najat what is the value of answer <clears throat> Yes, very good. So, what is the value of answer now? <clears throat> It's one. What is the value of count? What is the value of count? <clears throat> count equal two, right? Count equal two. So, now what is the new value of answer? <clears throat> one into two. <clears throat> what is the new value of answer? One into two is is everyone is clear? So, new value is two. Is that clear now? So. you are getting a two as answer here now what happens now program comes to this condition and check the condition count less than now okay my count equal what is value of what is the value of count my count is equal to less than num equal 5 okay now tell me is this yes or no <clears throat> is this yes or no i mean true or false very simple our questions you can answer so we can you know <clears throat> have some interaction at least okay yes Right, this is yes. <clears throat> is that clear? Right. So let me let me erase this one because <clears throat> uh, okay, first one also yes. Right. Now it's uh, again yes. No. Right. Yes. Now what happens? Right. Now what happens? The condition is true. No. So program will come to this area and it find the count. So okay, what is the new value of count? No. What is the what is the value of count? now what is what is the value inside you see the count variable what is the value of count what is the value of count now when the, when the program comes to this statement the count has number 2 right it has number 2 usma because now it has number 2 then you add 1 add 1 then it becomes number 3 it becomes number 3 is that clear okay now again program will come to this area and find the answer okay now tell me what is the answer ema or what is the value of this answer now what is the value of answer answer equal all value of answer into count answer into count yes what is the value of answer okay there are different answers okay raiza says 3 usma says 6 uh, radha rida says 6 uh, Zaharin says two. Okay, now answer equal two into count equal three. So new answer equal six. Okay, new answer is six. So for the value of answer, you get six here. Is that clear? Now again check the condition. Count less than num. My count equal. Uh, my count equal what three less than number is what? Uh, what is the value of num? Five. Is this yes or no? Five less than three less than five. Is it yes or no? Yes part, right? So this is yes. So again, program will come to this area and it increment the count, increment the count, right? By one, it add one to the count variable. So program will come to the yes part and add one to the count variable. So what is the new value of count variable? What is the new value of count variable? Half. Yes. What is the new value of count variable? Yes, Rima. What is the new value? Yes, four. So it's already three. So you add one, and it's four. Is that clear? Yes. Okay. Now again, the program will come here and find the answer. Okay. What is the value of answer now? Answer into count. 
What is the value of answer? Answer is 6 into count equal 4. So that is 24. No? That is 24. So new value of answer is 24. Yes. Is that clear? Some, some people said uh, fourth answer. I don't know how you got the fourth answer. Right? So anyway, uh, so answer is 24 here. Is this clear, Zora? So answer is 24. Right? Answer equal 24. Now again, what happens? We check the condition here. Count less than number. What is the value of count now? What is the value of count now? What is the value of count now? Count equal 4. 4 less than 5. Is this yes or no? Is this yes or no part? Which part? Yes part or no part? Yes, yes. So it's yes part. So it goes to yes part. Again, so count, add one to the count. So you take the count value now. It's four. It's four. Add one to the count. Four plus one. That is five. Is that clear? That is five. Now again, right? See, same thing, same thing. You have to find the program will come to this area and you have to find the answer. Okay. Who can tell me the value of answer now? Answer equal. What is the value? Arakam, can you tell me the value for the answer? Fadila, can you tell me the value for the answer? Yes, Usma correct, Raiza correct, uh, Rida correct, Arakam wrong. Arakam, how do you find the answer? Arakam, oh, Fadila, can you tell me? Fadila correct, very good. Arakam, how do you find it? Yes, Zuhra, what is the value for answer now? Yes, Nirukshi and Kirtika, I think both are using the same device. So, okay, can you guys tell me, girls tell me the value for the answer now? I'm asking the value for this answer, the, the new answer. So all the details are given in my tracing table. Mayada, correct, yes. If you can find out this part, then you can find the answer easily. Yes. So I asked some students to send the answer, so Arkham, correct, yes. Zaharin, correct. Yeah. So how do you find out the answer here? See, answer equal, answer into count. Right? Answer into count. No. Answer equal, answer into count. You just replace the values. Right? So count, right? Now, my answer, what is the value inside the answer now? This is the old one. What, is, what you have now, uh, that is 24. This is the last value. So 24. And the count, count you have five. So 24 into five is 120. 24 into five is equal to 120. Right? Now my answer becomes what? What is the value of answer now? 120. So let me write it here. 120. Okay. Now let's check the count, right? Count less than number. Now program will come to this place. Now we check the condition. Count less than number. Uh, what is the value of count? That is 5 less than 5. Okay, tell me, is this yes or no? 5 less than 5. Yes or no? Lakshin, is it yes or no? Sara, good. Okay, very good. Yes. Rima, is it yes or no? No, very good. So no part. So the condition is false. So what happens now? What happens now? Program will jump to the no part, not to the yes part now. It goes to the no area that is here and print the answer. Uh, now, when you print, what you have inside the answer variable? What is the value you have? 120. So, what is the answer now? First one. Is that clear? So, that's why I'm saying you have to draw a small tracing table. Then it's easy. There's no other method, right? Maybe you can, you know, you can guess and write. Maybe you can, you know, you can do it mind work, but that is not perfect, right? So better you, you have to, you have to do this, as I said. So this is a standard way, a standard way. Tracing table is a standard method. Uh, okay, any questions? Any questions? So if you don't understand or if you missed previous class, please uh, watch the previous recording. Okay.
if you don't have any questions let's move to the next another another section another another question or if you want to have, if you want time to write down you can write down quickly okay let's go to the next question since you are quiet okay let's go to the next last question for the day uh, uh, we are done with this okay 2018 now we'll we'll go to part 2 2018 right okay very interesting this easy one <clears throat> you can do it okay right everyone read the question right the following flow chart uses the rule that the number of uh, sum of any two lengths must be greater than the remaining length in a triangle right so you know in order to perform in order to create a triangle in mathematics we know if you want to create a triangle right right let's say if you have a triangle like abc right to 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 form a triangle right the if you take the uh, if you take the uh, uh, length of these two sides any two sides let's say if you take the length of the uh, b and c right you take the length of this let's say this is 5 <clears throat> let's say you take the length of b x and uh, a c this is y right then x plus y right uh, should be less than the Oh, we, we, shall, we can say if this is z, right, this should be uh, like this. So a b length of a b should be greater than the uh, sum of other two lengths. Okay, so that's already given. Don't worry because uh, I also don't because I'm even when I I don't worry about this because they have given this rule. So even even if you don't know, that's fine. <clears throat> so okay, now use that knowledge, so the theorem or whatever. And uh, very, very simple one, try to fill these blanks. So what you have to do is basically you have to find out what is uh, P again, what is Q and uh, what is S and what is R, right? And okay, here there's another part. Give me a minute, let me show you because uh, if you have a paper then easy. Write down, okay, can you write down the question? Maybe then you can use the screen and answer. Write down the correct expression for missing labels, P, Q, R, and S. Write down the correct expression for missing labels. Maybe you can write the question now, right? First write the question. Write down the correct expression for missing labels, P, Q, R, and S in the flow chart. Okay, now uh, that is the question. Okay, there's no other questions. We'll come to the other parts later. Okay, now can you write the answer for this? <clears throat> this is 2018. Okay, first find out the P. First tell me what is the what is the suitable input? What should be the suitable input for P? So you have to basically uh, compare the length of the sides, right? The following flow charge is the rule that sum of any two lengths must be greater than the remaining length in the triangle. Yes, right, correct. Uh, Uzma, what is that? 
uh, Raisa correct, Rida correct. I didn't understand Uzma. Zaharin correct. So what should be P? Because uh, then you can easily go, I mean, you can do other parts. So basically what you have to input, <clears throat> because we are going to compare the length, right? So assume the AB, BC and AC are length of a triangle. So they are given, these are the length. So you should input the length. Yes, very good. So you should input, input the length. So when you write the answer, better you write the way they have given, right? That's easy, that's good, that's good actually. So you can say A, B, B, C, and A, C. This is P. So you, you take these three as your input. This is P. Okay? Arakam, is that clear? Okay, now read, read, go through the other parts. Now you can do. So basically, the rule is the sum of any two lengths must be greater than the remaining length in a triangle. So you take the sum of two lengths and that should be uh, sum of any two lengths must be greater than the remaining length. If not, if not, that is not a triangle. That's what you have to display. You check that if it is uh, like, if, if this is satisfying this condition, if sum of any two length is greater than the remaining length. So if, uh, let's say, if A, B, if you take the sum of a, B plus B, C, right? If you take sum of A, B plus B, C greater than A, C, then that means this is a triangle. You can say uh, this is a triangle. Some problem with my pin, I don't know, I will check that. This is a triangle. So maybe you can say is a triangle, is a triangle. It's a triangle. <clears throat> If not, if condition is not satisfied, you can say this is not a triangle. Okay. So that is what, that is the basic idea, right? <clears throat> So what is the structure? What is the structure you have here? What is the structure? Very good, selection, yes, selection structure, yes, good. <clears throat> and also, right, when you check, you should check, uh, yes, uh, Q, yes, okay, I'll come to the answer. Is, uh, when you check, uh, you should check all three sides, right? So you have three sides to the triangle, right? A, B, C, <clears throat> you have three, 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 uh, three sides, right? So when you check this condition, you check the A, B side, then B, C side, and A, C side. Both, it should satisfy all three sides, right? If not, right, even if it is not like not satisfying the condition for single one side, we don't say it's a triangle. So in order to become a triangle, in order to say it's a triangle, a, the length of any suicide must be greater than. So it should be uh, greater than this, greater than this, and greater than this. So we have to check all three. We have to check all three sides. Yes, Fadila, uh, correct. And Raisa also correct. Who is that? Uzma. Yes, correct. Uh, Uzma says, uh, yes, Uzma, your answer is perfect. 
Okay, now tell me what is the answer for Q? Okay, you can tell me the answer. You can send me the answer for Q. Already some students send, uh, already send. Okay, what is the answer for Q? From now, Q, yes. Now look at this one. So we are, as I said, we have to check the condition for all three sides. So we are first checking the side AB. We are checking the AC. Then what is the next side? What is the remaining one? So we should check very simple BC, right? Should be greater than what is the remaining side? AB plus AC. So Q should be BC greater than AB plus AC. So we have checked all three sides, right? Yes, right, correct. My other correct. Uh, Arukam AB, yes, better use the capital letters, right? Uh, Zohra, okay, correct. Samiha, uh, correct. Yeah, very simple. No? So, okay, now look at this one. So it says first condition. Okay, now let's say we are checking AB greater than BC plus AC. So the one side length is greater than the two other two sides. It's like uh, if you take this one, one side is like this. So this is my AB. Right. So, is this a triangle? So, you are you are adding BC and uh, sorry, you are adding. I can't because you can't create a triangle anyway. So, you can't create it. So, we know if if one side is greater than the uh, other two sides, length of one side is greater than the other two sides. The condition is true. And what do you have to say in R? Then what should be R? You have to say if this condition first side you are taking the uh, R is okay, Rida. There's a problem. Okay. If it is wrong, if you write the answer using C, uh, no, I don't think they will they will uh, check uh, that. I mean, uh, Uzma, whether it's a simple or capital. But uh, better, you know, but yeah, it's okay, right? Even if you use, but better if you use capital, right? I prefer that way personally. And you know when you name the when you name the triangle in mathematics, right? Uh, so we use capital letters, right? We don't use simples mainly. So we use simple letters to denote this length of this uh, triangles in maths. Uh, if I remember well, I don't know whether well, they have changed this now, but that is what we learn. Anyway, this is just a preference of uh, mine. Okay, no problem. Right. So we'll come to the R, Rida. Rida, you are checking the first side, and it says uh, R. Uh, the one side is larger than the other two sides. AB is greater than the other two sides. Then if the condition is true, then what is the conclusion, Rida? Is this a triangle or is this not a triangle? This is not a triangle because not a triangle, not a triangle. So because, because we say the first condition is, is false, so you don't need to check the other parts, right? Is that clear? So R should be, it's not a triangle, right? Yes. How about the S now? S now we are checking the first one and the second one Q that also the second second also greater than the uh, the sum of the uh, you know the length of the BC is greater than the other two sides. So can this be a triangle then? Can this be a triangle because you say the first one also larger than? Second one was large, then then you, you this is this can't be a triangle. Okay, now we come to the third one, right? Now we we'll, okay. If you look at this one like this way, uh, okay. First you add. Give me a minute. Uh, not a triangle. Not a triangle. Right, okay. Uh, not a triangle. No. Okay. Now you are adding two sides, right? You are adding two sides. Sum of uh, any two legs. So sum of B and C are not greater than AB. So it's for no, no, so no side. So it is not greater than AB. Then you check the second side. Uh, again, BC is not greater than AB and AC. So that also okay. And you are checking the third one. AC also is less than the other two sides. So it's satisfying all three sides. So you can say sum of any two length must be greater than the remaining side. So then what, what is ABC then? 
this is actually they have given the other way like right? that's that's sometimes confusing so if it is like if they use the less than side then is that that is other way now they are using less greater than side so first condition is false that means ab is less than okay ab is less than the uh, other two sides length of ab is less than the other two sides bc also less than the other two sides ac also less than the other two sides now what you can say you can you can create a triangle you can create a triangle so s s you should say right then in the s you should say okay is a triangle is that clear is that clear or any questions here any any doubt or any questions please